here. Wonderful facility for the city. Well, next up, we turn our attention to the first of the men's doubles. It's the Malaysians, Aaron Char and So Yi against Li Zhe Hui and Yang To Shuan. Well, when we look at the men's doubles draw from the quarter-final stage, uh, we had six different flags, but only three seeds. Four different flags, so at semi-final stage, that's always lovely to see the diversity in the latter stages of tournaments. Let's welcome the players first up from Malaysia. The number five seeds, Aaron Chia. And so, Wu Ying. Former finalists, Aaron Chia and so we eek the former world champions and Olympic bronze medalists on a quest to end a 17-year wait for a Malaysian men's doubles pair their to win from Chinese the Taipei, Taipei, Championships. Li Jiegui and Yang Pao Shua. And a pair who are in a terrific run of form. Li Jiegui and Yang Pao Shuan are trying to reach their third final in three tournaments in three weeks. They won the German Open two weeks ago. They lost in the final of the French Open to Ranky Reddy and Shetty, the world number ones. Can they make it three out of three? Well, this will be a fourth meeting between these two pairs and all three previous encounters have been won by the Malaysians and all in two straight games. It's red. Who will receive? Lee will receive. So the pair from right Chinese side. Taipei choose to receive. And I think they've done that every time I've seen so them. So the first goal of our men's doubles. Point. I simply don't understand it, but there we go. This is Aaron Chia. He's 27 years of age. He turned 27 last month on the 24th of February, to be precise. I have them down at a five foot seven, and they are currently number five on the world rankings, although they did spend a total of 20 weeks across three different spells as world number twos. Reached the final of the All England five years ago, losing out to Mohammed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. So he also had a birthday last week, last month. He's 26 years of age, born in the Malaysian capital of Kuala Lumpur. The taller of the two at five foot eleven and a half. They beat their teammates uh, Go and Izudin in the very first round, and then Chang and Po of Chinese Taipei in the second. In the quarter-final, they played against the 2022 winners Fikri and Mulana. And quite frankly, they were utterly brilliant, winning in just 31 minutes. So to the informed pair, and in the background there is Li Zhe Hui. He will turn 30 next Wednesday, so in five days' time. I just... About 5 foot 11, and on Tuesday earlier this week, they went up to their career high as a pair of number 15. It's their second week in total because they were also world number ones for one week from the end of January this year. Yang Po Xuan is the younger of the two, 27 from Tainan. It's in the south of the island, the oldest city actually on the island. Ready to play. Third appearance as a pair. And they, like their opponents, have won all of their matches in two straight games. The longest match was against the number eight seeds, Lu Yu Chen and Wu Xuan Yi, in 37 minutes. The other two minute matches in under half an hour. So our umpire for this one is Latif Johari of Indonesia and Amanda Balam of England is the service judge.
Wellstein, a head-to-head to three love, never dropped a game, the Malaysians, against their opponents. But I think their opponents, Lee and Yang, are a different pair right now. Yeah, I totally agree. They have improved a lot. We've seen them play so well in the past two weeks here. Uh, but um, we also saw the Malaysians yesterday. They are also are in top form. Yeah, they certainly are. The way they disposed of the champions from two years ago, Fikri and Molana, was very, very impressive. Players ready. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Aaron Chia and Sobhui, Malaysia. Yang Poswan and Lee Jiehui, Chinese Taipei. <laughs> and we can serve to Lee Jiehui. Level. Play. So the beaten finalists from five years ago, nearest to us, Aaron Char and Sui. <laughs> Against only the second one, pair one. from Chinese Taipei to contest an All England men's doubles semi final. Li Hui and Yang Po Xuan. Wow. Who was the first? Oh. The Olympic champions, of course. The Olympic champions. Li Yang and Wang Chimin. That was four years ago. Yeah, I was just thinking before that. Yeah. That they, because they had a lot of good pairs. Well, it's very early for a challenge, isn't it? Yeah. I suspect, Steen, that Li and Yang will possibly go up to a career high on the world rankings come next Tuesday when the world rankings are published. Published on the Tuesday of every week. Yes, I think so. Score at least 8,400 points here. Good round. And it's actually the first time that Li Jiehui and Yang Po Xuan as a pair have been beyond the second round of a Super 1000 event. Well, this is a huge leap forward for the pair from Chinese Taipei. Mm, they look nervous though, don't they? Even, even though we have four Super 1000 tournaments and we, um, we have four really special Super 1000 events, that there's none of them that has this history as all England has. That's right. This tournament is to badminton and what Wimbledon is to tennis. Judgment from Li Jiehui. Yeah. I think that could be a very, very um, a crucial moment of the game. The um, attack from Li and Gang towards the defense of uh, Zhou Yik and um, Aaron Cha. If the Malaysians can establish some kind of defense, that gives them much, much more freedom in um, the front court, mid court game.
brilliant. Big high left from Lee. Oh! Strong choice of shot from Lee Jerkway, but how wonderfully intercepted and disposed of by Sol Wee Malaysian coach and bench pretty happy. Oh, that's his second service error already. Hugely talented player, he's Aaron Sharp. He has a great understanding of the game, doesn't he, Steen? It always seems to place the shuttle so well. Yeah, great understanding of the game, can play both front court and back court, and as you mentioned yesterday, and you on a, a lovely touch. Yeah. So super important for players to be able to play two, three fast-paced shots, and then certainly play a soft one uh, with ease instead of it has to be something that's that's learned. Oh! Wait, that's that's not too bad by Sawyi. And it also means that Lee and Yang they haven't sort of been allowed to play those blitz-like rallies that we um, saw last week in in Paris, where everything was fast and furious. and appeals to the umpire that that shuttle was taken before it had crossed over the net. No. No, definitely not. No. Explosive play they've um, showed us. No, it's fine. Lee and Yang, it's fine. You're highly you're entertaining. Thank you. The way they uh, play the men's doubles, and uh, I think it's a really good matchup we have here in the semi-finals. Right. Oh. Oh. That's a clever return, sir. That's uh, an example of the touch that he has. Gone. But the players go to the midday game interval with the Malaysians having a four point advantage. Goodness me, only eight minutes played.
Well, it's been an explosive start to this first men's doubles. My goodness, there's some super rallies. 11 7. Play. Backhand drive. Events. Do you remember the last men's doubles pair to do that? I can clearly say no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a huge clue. It was a pair from Chinese Taipei. Oh, Wang <laughs> Chilin. Um... Yes, when we were coming out of COVID, we had three events in three weeks in Thailand. That's right. And they, they won, I think, all three events, didn't they? Yeah, I think you're right. But it was three finals in three weeks. Last men's doubles pair to do that. So then you want to be warned ahead of the Olympics. Exactly. There was three quick points there by uh, Chan. So. Yeah. Six point cushion now. They seem to be taking more initiative in the rallies, I think, Steve. Yeah, and, and I think that's the right way to do it, to prevent um, the Chinese Taipei pair from doing it. Yeah. When they suddenly get on the attack here, they feel they must make the most of it, and, and um, they're not really uh, scoring that much uh, or that easy as we saw it. Um, First, the ones who followed German Open, and then last week in, uh, in France. And I think it's also a, a good way to sort of um, control the spirit of the opponents. That, uh, we know that, that they can suddenly um, go on a run, Li and, and Yang, and uh, be extremely hard to handle. But if you play downward shots towards them, then it's considerably more difficult for them to score. Oh, nice drop. Yeah. I think that block probably would have gone wide, but it was so loose, so weak. It was better to kill it. It was an easy opportunity. Yeah. Whatsoever to get on no. the attack. No. First 
first opportunity they had. And they play the winner. I like, I like that. I like that. They, I mean, it hasn't worked what they've been doing so far. So let's try something uh, new. Let's yeah. go a little bit in the defense. Well, clearly the longest rally so far. 45 shots. Thank you. Slightly softer. That's probably why he mistimed the defence. Third service error. Also unique. 13, 19. Well, he knows unless it's a very good serve, it's going to be severely punished by his opponents. himself there so we would would help his um, serves if he uh, mixed it up with a flicker once in a while becomes less predictable good serve from Lee Quay Sutton has become believable again. Yep. They have the momentum. Four straight points. Thank you. I think so. He gets a little bit tensed at the moment. That would have been fine with the block there. Also, given his three service errors. Long of the back line. And therefore, game point opportunity for Aaron Char and Saul. Unbelievable defence. But he pushes that one wide. And the opening game to the Malaysians, 21-16. No,
also one game to the goods. The former world champions Aaron Char and Sonny. Love all. Play. Well, Steen, I know you said that Lee Chiu Kui and Yang Po Xuan, it wasn't such a bad thing to try something different and go on the defence for a little while. But I'm convinced they need to do more of this, attacking in the second half. Yeah, you can't win from the defence no. in the men's doubles anymore. Good opening rally to the second game. I think this has now surpassed the 45 shots of the opening game. the body of Yang Po Xuan. <laughs> Indeed, 59 shots. Serve. That is brilliant. <laughs> Terrific smash. Now they've smashed across the body of Nija Huey. It's visible how the service from Aaron Sharp just dived down as it crossed the top of the tape. There it was again. Yeah. So he can uh, sort of stand upright and uh, be focused on playing a good third shot. Uh, the tumble serve. He chops underneath the shuttle. To start to the second game. Well, good umpiring. Lee Chiu Fei wanting to go and towel down. In fact, it was Yang Po Xuan. <laughs> Sorry about that. But the umpire not having any of it. No, <laughs> I was just thinking. That, I mean, I sort of um, predicted it in my mind that that would happen. Now it would be nice if the umpire was um, was proactive and said, "By the way, you can't move. <laughs> you can't leave the court." <laughs> from Chinese Taipei unseeded and it's not unheard of to have unseeded winners in the men's doubles at the All England in fact we've had four in the Super Series and World Tour era the last pair was a couple of years ago Fikri and Molana yeah I thought they would be the one and prior to that Ivanov and Sozanov the Russians that's right in 16 yeah 2013, Liu Xiaolong and Chu Sihan. And of course, back in 2010, were you coaching then? No, oh, I, no. I stopped. Um, Lars Porska. 
and Jonas Rasmussen. Oh. All right. I, I feel the Malaysians that they um, they are, are the impression that there's something left here at all England. They left something behind when they first were in the final and lost to Asan and Sechi. And I think they really would cherish a chance to um, contest another final here. Yeah. I wouldn't disagree with that at all. 17 years, though, before since a, a pair from Malaysia won the men's doubles title here. And that was Ku Kian Kiat and Tamdun Hyong. Beat a certain Chai Yun and Fu Hai Feng in the final. Oh! Well, it's one way traffic at the moment. That was a little bit too steep. I'm a hand child. Brilliant, he's taken. And to the mid game interval with a seven point advantage. Malaysian pair just 10 points away from a second All England final. was struggling to make the coaches hear him when he said uh, 20 seconds remaining and coaches please leave the court. Play. Tung Bing Sheng, the Malaysian coach, uh, was still giving plenty of instructions to his players. Nice angle from Aaron Shah. One, That's that court awareness to which I was alluding to a little earlier on. ideas as to what the pair from Chinese Taipei should try and do right now? I think they pretty much have to um, to double the stakes and, and uh, go all in and, and challenging. So we, there was a chance here, uh, we, we saw some of the possibilities two rallies ago where they uh, challenged him at the net with a cross net shot and uh, he wasn't really uh, alert to it. The other thing is to try and uh, and keep um, Aaron in the backcourt, let him work a little bit, but I just think he's uh, made his way forward pretty much uh, as he wanted here. And he seems in a fantastic playing mood, so... Um, I, I would go with... I've said it before, I think I said it yesterday when the Indonesians were there, um, try to win the front court to get the attack, and, and to do that you choose the 
um, normal backcourt player, which is so weak from the, the Malaysian side and, and try to put pressure on him on the front court. Disguise drop. He was finding the bottom of the net. Yeah, look at his uh, movement afterwards. Yeah, I think he hurt his knee. And he was protecting um, his legs there. Two! Yeah, Malaysians really have approached this match. 16 played quite brilliantly. And I wouldn't be surprised if, if some of the things Tampin Chen didn't discuss with his players was that even though they were 11-4 up, it's super important that they maintain the pressure, that they keep on uh, um, going and sort of to both uh, sort of tank self-confidence for hopefully a final, but also to sh send a message to their opponents. Yeah of tomorrow whoever that may be second in doubles and last semi-final of the day Spin brush to create that angle. Oh, did it again behind the back. Nice. Well, played. Oh! well it didn't go over. But that behind the back drive from Aaron Chia was simply sensational. Here it comes, look at that. Well, that's perhaps a sign of his confidence. Yeah. But well done to reduce the pace there by Lee Jiehui. Way and Yang Po Shuan.
That looks so easy, those two shots. And it is so difficult to get it right because your body is sort of showing that it's a full power smash and you have to have exactly the right time. And look at that. The last one was the best. Two points away from the second All England final. Flicks have. Yeah, set up the whole rally, really, didn't it? That yeah. flick serve from Young Paul Schwan. <laughs> Match point opportunities. Five of them for the number five seed, Saran Char and Solvi. And they've done it with a magnificent drive serve, an ace from Solvi. Well, and it's not to be for Li Chenhui and Yang Po Xuan, three finals in three weeks, but they've had a magnificent run here in Europe. Uh, but quite simply, Aaron Char and So Yi, I thought today, were a class above their opponents. A second All England final awaits tomorrow for the Malaysians. We don't yet know who they will play, but whoever it is, is going to have their work cut out because they were absolutely superb today. Just under 36 minutes for the victory, 21-16, 21-15. So coming up next, it's the second of the mixed doubles semi-finals. It's the defending champions, Cheng Shi Wei and Huang Yashong, up against their teammates, Huang Yang Zhe and Wang Dong Ting.
Welcome back to the Utilita Arena here in Birmingham. It is a magnificent facility right in the centre of Birmingham. And the fans have been flocking here all week. And they really do make the All England very special for all of us. So coming up next, our fourth match of the second session, and it's an all-Chinese affair in the mixed doubles. Sheng Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong against Fang Yangzhe and Huang Dongping. Well, as far as the mixed doubles draw is concerned,